Hi everyone, this is the Prism Plus X340 Pro and I'm going to tell you 7 things you need to know before you buy. My name is Ken and welcome to my channel. Before I get started, I would just like to say that this video is not sponsored by Prism Plus in any way. I used my own money to buy this monitor and um, why did I want to put up this video is because um, I find that the information about Prism Plus uh, monitors are pretty scarce well, in the internet and all the YouTube reviews are pretty much saying about the same stuff and they rave about the same things. So I'd like to offer my point of view as an owner who has been using this monitor for about 2 months to 3 months now. And um, I will also go through the specs briefly to help you understand uh, the, the, the points that I'm going to make. So let's get down to it. The X40 Pro is a 34-inch ultra-wide QHD monitor. The native resolution is 3440 times 1440. The refresh rate is 144 Hz and it uses a Samsung VA panel. Response time is 1 millisecond and color gamut is rated at 120% of sRGB. Now yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the specs, but if you're interested, let me know down in the comments and I'll make a separate review video about the monitor. Moving on, the first of the 7 things that you need to know is that number 1, the monitor color settings are based on RGB percentage, not the usual Kelvin temperature like you'd see in most monitors. It's not a big deal I know, but for photo and video editors who don't have a monitor calibration tool at hand, you'll need to calibrate the monitor's white balance and usually 6500 Kelvin is the basic temperature to start with. But since it is in RGB percentage terms, unless you are well versed in this area which I'm not, you're gonna need to spend a bit of time and effort to adjust the white balance to suit your preference. That leads me to the second point. Other than gaming, this monitor needs to be color calibrated if you are using it for editing and work. Out of the box, the monitor's color is biased towards the cooler spectrum. It actually looks great for gaming and if that's your only concern, that's fine. But if you're working on Excel sheets or other software like me, by default, the worksheets look really washed out and I'm straining my eyes to see the grid lines and certain colors like yellow. By adjusting the white balance to warmer side, it actually made it more comfortable for my eyes to work on the monitor for longer hours. As for media editing professionals, I highly recommend the Spider 5 or other newer products by Datacolor. I've been using it for many years now and it's a tool that will serve you well if you carry it on for a long time. Number 3. If you need to access BIOS on the X340 Pro, use a HDMI cable instead of the display port cable that came in the box. For this point, I'm not sure whether it's due to my old GTX 960 graphics card. But as you can see in these comparison videos, I could not access BIOS if I'm plugged in using DisplayPort, even though I've been continuously pressing delete during startup. It took me quite a while to diagnose the issue, from motherboard to Windows settings, I used a second monitor to change the BIOS fastboot settings, and I've even asked professional PC builders, but no one could really tell me what's wrong until I simply switched to HDMI. I never in my life I thought that BIOS would actually be affected by the HDMI cable or DisplayPort cable. So if you are facing the same issue as me, just use HDMI. Speaking of HDMI, at number 4, make sure that your HDMI cable and your graphics card are able to support at least up to 144Hz. And you need to manually switch the refresh rate in the advanced monitor settings as you can see here. This might seem to be common knowledge for some, but Windows just doesn't automatically bump up your monitor refresh rate to the max rate your PC can run on. As for the cable, there are actually 4 official certifications for HDMI cables and things kind of get complicated at this point so I'll paste a link below that has a simple and nice explanation about the topic. To sum it up, make sure your HDMI cable is rated at least a premium high speed HDMI cable and that your graphics card HDMI port is at least version 2.0. Next, at number 5, the X340 Pro actually has the, a perfect 21 by 9 ratio to watch cinematic movies in full screen. And contrary to their website's marketing materials, 
there is actually a half centimeter bezel built into the screen panel. Once you see it, you can't unsee the bezels. But it's not that big of a problem once you get used to it. You could still watch 1080p movies, but you must use the right players to zoom the video at full screen, at which it will make the movie seem slightly soft. Now, some people can be quite particular about this, but for me, I'm totally okay with it. Watching YouTube videos at full screen, however, there will be two huge black bars at either sides. So that's the difference between 60x9 to 21, 21x9 ratio. Number 6. The X340 Pro is absolutely glorious when you use it for gaming. The screen size, curvature and the refresh rate really makes you feel fully immersed in the game. I can't really tell how much of an advantage the wider screen gives to the player as I'm not a really competitive player, but I could really appreciate the screen in games that emphasizes on graphics. I'll let the video do the talking. Lastly at number 7, for a screen of this size, you really need to check if your table could fit the monitor stands. Lengthwise, it's not quite a problem for my table that is 1.2 meters long, even with the ATX CPU on the table. As for the width, however, the included monitor stands spreads out wide and occupies quite a moderate amount of space. I would really have a hard time placing my speakers and keyboard and have enough space left to feel comfortable. So I got a monitor arm that could handle its weight and free up valuable space on my table. The shortest width section on my table measures at 51 centimeters. Therefore, I'd recommend that your table be at least wider than that to be on the safe side. And that pretty much sums up all the 7 things you need to know about the Prism Plus X340 Pro monitor. To me, they are all not deal breakers in any way, but at this price point, I can't really fault the monitor for not being perfect. Despite being the cheapest 34-inch curved monitor available in Malaysia, I would actually consider the X340 Pro to be the best deal you can get for your money. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer. And please subscribe to our channel and I'll, I'll see you in the next video.